I don't think you're ready for this haul. I don't think you're ready for this haul. I don't think you're ready for this. My haul is too bootylicious for you, babe. Hey everybody, this is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength, and welcome back to my channel. So glad you tuned in. It is time for another thrift haul. I'm so excited about this thrift haul. For one, okay, I got a lot of items, so I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet, and I'm not going to uh, try on and show everything that I bought, and I'll tell you why later on in the video. But this haul, uh, there's a lot of stuff in it. For number one, November the 18th was our 22nd wedding anniversary, and so my husband got me a gift card to Goodwill and so I did rack up on some things with that gift card and I still have money left on it I haven't spent yet so I'll do another haul later like closer to Christmas time but let me just go ahead and say that some of the stuff that I'm going to show in this haul didn't I did not use my gift card uh, for because I did go to the flea market so I got some things at the flea market so I'll show you those as well so let's just jump right into the haul and uh, guys I just love being silly so uh ignore the pre-clip um but i just thought it kind of tied in nicely with some of the things that i got but let's just jump right into it so when i was at the flea market i ran across these vintage um like knitting books style books catalogs from like the 50s and i just thought they were the coolest thing because i love fashion and i think well you know fashion is timeless and everything you know comes back around again and we're living in a time where everything goes when it comes to fashion um my thing my tip for if you're doing a fashion and even this can go out the door. This is just my personal thing. If I'm going to wear something vintage or an old piece, I try not to do it from head to toe so it won't look like I stepped out of a time machine, but I'll piece together modern stuff with, you know, vintage things. But hey, to each his own, but I digress. I got this fabulous uh, magazine. This magazine was 52 cents back in 1950. So I got that and I just love the models and how they pose in this. So I get inspiration from their poses. I get inspiration from their style. Just really cool. And what I notice about a lot of these models, they don't look directly into the camera. You have some that do, but a lot of them do a lot of side profiles and they create angles with their arms to really show off the clothes so this is like a knitting catalog and it even has some male models in there just a lot of really cool things so I got that I also got a Vogue knitting book really nice now this is in color and this was what 50 cents too I'm not sure oh this was a 1948 in color so this is really cool like I said I got it because of the inspiration of the models and their poses I just think they look so elegant and so divine uh, just really neat so I got several of those this one is a Colombian style book and this one was 25 cents I don't see a date on this one but just really awesome look at the lighting on that uh, that the photographer did and just how beautiful these models look in their posing I just think it's awesome so I got that and then I got another um, Vogue knitting style book as well so got those and these were uh, I believe 25 cents a piece no 50 cents a piece these were 50 cents a piece so I got those now um, also from the flea market I got this really cool leather hat and really nice and it's hard for me to find hats guys because my head is so big so to find one that actually fits and I think this is perfect for uh, this late fall weather and um, early winter this will be fabulous so I got this and then um, I got one more thing from the flea market I got a pair of nice boots thus the intro so the, these pair of boots right here they are suede I love the detailing at the top and these are made by the brand soft and I've uh, bought a pair of well more than one pair two pairs of soft uh, boots some time ago directly from 
you know, the soft manufacturer from the store that we have here locally. Uh, the walking company is what we have here in Georgia and they actually sell the soft brand. I got some from there. So to not have to pay over a hundred dollars for a pair of boots were great. These were $20, really excellent condition. And I like that the heel is not too high and the heel was in excellent condition. So I got those and then um, I got this purse. Now this purse I got from an antique store, so I did not get it while thrifting, but uh, just really nice. And this is called a Texier, and this is a French brand uh, purse company. So I looked it up online, really uh, well known in France. And so I like it because this is like a textured, um, I don't know if it's a coated canvas or if it's actually leather, I'm not sure, but I know definitely that the leather is trimmed so it has this little push button uh, opening here that you have and then the inside is very roomy. So the inside, let me take this out because that's something else, the inside has the two pockets, uh, two sides here and then the zip compartment and then a place for like your phone or whatever and then the back side has the zip here so I just thought this was a really cool I love the contrast of browns on this little tote so really nice um the boots I told you were $20 the magazines are like 50 cents this bag I got for $10 at the antique store so uh, now let's go for the Goodwill items got this um, Agner or Etienne Anye, however you pronounce it, wallet at Goodwill and this was like three dollars and something and so that's the inside really nice has the zip pocket there it's genuine leather so I'm gonna buff this up and clean it up and actually use this one um, now at Goodwill also everything else is from Goodwill Goodwill here locally has upped its game a lot of department stores are now you know give giving them brand new things like from of course Target uh, places like H&M um, Old Navy and so a lot of places um, Goodwills here locally have brand new things these are 99 cents but I got them you know why I got them I got them because they're red and they're black and they're leopard so I got these cute little socks for 99 cents and then I got these awesome, this is another company that's donating a lot of new things. American Eagle is donating stuff. And I got these shoes that were originally priced at $39.99 for $6. So really cute black wedges for the summer and spring. Got them for $6. And then I got these boots for $6 as well. So these cute little booties right here are like a black faux suede and not sure what the brand is but they have not been worn brand new and they were in my size and I just like that the back is stretchy and the heel is kind of chunky and they're very comfortable so I got those. So those are all the accessory items that I got guys so now I'm going to show you the clothing items so stay tuned don't go anywhere I will be right Alright guys back. so here is the clothing part of my haul and like I said earlier I won't be showing everything because most of them are just black pants and black jeans things that you've already seen before typically and so I will be only modeling like the jackets and the tops but let's just jump right into it I'll still share with you the brands that I got and the deals that I got so the first one I got was this um, Anthracite never heard of that brand before jacket this is a really nice jacket for the fall and winter it does not have buttons or clasp or anything like that it's just an open type jacket I like the lapel on it the way that it folds and what I really love about it is that back look at that back detailing there and the stitching on it that's beautiful and even up here on the shoulders that's like an awesome detailing all of those type things are really eye-catching for me the cuffs we're still stitched down with the X stitching, so yes, that needs to be removed, but it's the kind where you can flip up the sleeve and have that contrasting of the lining in there, which I think is really awesome. So I got this uh, blazer for like $7. And then I got a pair of navy pants by Talbots that have the zips on the side. They're just a straight leg pant. Really nice for business casual. So I got a pair of those. Always nice to get Talbots. Next, I got three pairs of black pants. And I'm always in search of the perfect black knit pant. And I've mentioned that before in previous videos. I just love wearing black. I think it's sleek. And I'm still looking for the perfect fit. So I used the opportunity since I had the gift card to buy 
uh, as many as I could find that were in my size. So I'm going to give them a try and see how well they wear. They fit nicely, but you know, the wear, like will the elastic roll down after you've been sitting for a while? Will, is it too hot? Do they not, you know, breathe enough? So that only time will tell that, but I got some really good ones. Um, these I really love the best because of the nice like leather detailing or faux leather detailing on the side of the pant. This is a, a DKNY pant and these pants were all I believe $6, like you know $5.99, $6. All of them have seams going down the front or either the side. Uh, this is another stretch pant. It has the elastic in the waist and this brand I did not see a brand on it but really nice stretchy fit. The next brand is a Worthington brand which is JCPenney and it has this really thick elastic band that uh, turns inward so it's like high waisted so you don't have that roll over um, at the waist which I really like and there's a pleating down the front which I did have to reinforce when I got home with the um, with my sewing machine. So got those and then I got two pairs of pants. One pair is this wonderful Citizens of Humanity. Uh, this is like a boot cut. I love Citizens of Humanity. Really good quality jeans. So if you ever see that brand thrifting, pick it up if it's in your size. So I got those. The next pair of jeans are Gap. Another brand that I love when it comes to jeans, can't go wrong, and I got these because they were a long. I like a longer fit in my pants, even though I'm an average height. I'm 5'7 and a half, and so a regular size pant will fit me, but for some reason I like a longer fit so that when I wear boots and heels, they kind of hang right at the, the base. So really, really nice on those, and these are boot cut as well. And those were like $5. Next, I got an awesome sweatshirt. I'm really looking for sweatshirts now that it's winter and fall. I like lounging around the house in these. This is an Ironside uh, brand. And I typically look in the men's section when I look for sweatshirts because I like the oversized fit. So I got this nice Ironside one. And that was like $4 and something. My favorite find out of this haul, guys, is this H&M Trent Inspired um, jacket. I love it. I brought it home. I washed it. It is washable, but I probably should have dry cleaned it because it lost that crisp uh, press effect that it had prior to me washing it. But other than that, I really love it. Just really nice detailing. So I can't wait to wear this with a pair of the black pants and some blues and a black, uh, you know, turtleneck. So a black base with this will be awesome. Next, I got this oversized Worthington blouse. What I like is the femininity of the sleeves and the tie in the front. So I'm going to find a way to jazz this up maybe with the skirt. I just like the uh, colors in this and the print. And then last but not least, I got this H&M oversized leopard print high-low sweater, which is really great. It's in a large. It was brand new with tags, by the way. This was originally like $29.99. So I removed the tags and washed it, and uh, I am ready to wear this. It has an exposed zipper, so I can't wait to wear that with some jeans, of course, some boots, and a little brown cap. I think that will be cute. So those are all the clothes, and now I'm going to style the tops and jackets for you, so stay tuned.
so much for tuning in to my channel. I really enjoyed doing these thrift hauls for you and I love hearing from you in the comments below. So please make sure you comment, hit like and subscribe if you want to see more hauls like this. And I just recently cleaned out my closet and if you have Parshmark, please check out my closet on Parshmark if you have that app at Noble Artisan, N-O-B-L-E-A-R-T-I-S-A-N. I just uploaded a bunch of shoes, purses, and some clothing items, so I'd love for you to check it out. My prices are really reasonable. And as always, remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he loves us so very much. See you next time. Bye.